Hi, this is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network. We're here at DevOps UK talking to members of the Java community, and I have the distinct honor of talking to Heather Van Cura. Hey, Heather. Hi, Tori. Hey, how are you doing? Thanks for having me. Yeah, so you're a program manager with the JCP, right? Yes, I manage the program office of the JCP program. I okay. manage the community and keep the program heard running and heard all the yeah. cats and the spec leads and the expert group members and the Java user group members and try to bring them together to collaborate on the Java standards. So, so that's a, a great, wonderful, big community you get to work with, right? It is. It's very exciting, dynamic. It keeps things interesting in my life. Good, good. <laughs> so you did a BOF last night. Tell me about that. Yes, we had a BOF last night. And... Um, it was a late night boff, but we had a nice attendance of folks turning up. We had several spec leads. Um, I invited all of the London-based spec leads uh, who nice. are here locally. So There's we had a lot, right? There were. We had uh, Nigel Deacon from Oracle. He leads uh, JMS for Java EE, and we also had Anatole Tresch here, uh, who is a spec lead from Switzerland. He works at Credit Suisse, and he's leading the Money and Currency API, and he's, he's also going to lead a new JSR, a co-led co -led with Oracle for Java EE. And then we also had a new spec lead from Red Hat, Mircea Marcus, uh, who is based here in London, and he's leading the data grids for Java, which is JSR 347. So we had a nice mix okay, of so spec leads. Whoa. What would you talk about in a box okay. like that? Well, we also had members of the London Java community okay. and, and leaders from Adopta JSR. So we kind of started out the BOF and, and asked what people were interested in, and we had a mix of topics to cover. We covered some of the things about how the JCP works and how you would get involved in the JCP and participate on an expert group. That's and kind of a big really, driver. It's really hard to get involved in the JCP. Right? It's really it's, easy, you have to have actually. A PhD. And no, no, no not a, actually, yeah. Okay, so tell me. So we talked about JCP.next. So that's. Really Really this effort to show developers how they can participate and to make things really transparent to them. Mm -hmm. So that was part of their question was, how do we participate and what are you doing to make it easier? And so we've had an ongoing effort to do that over the last three years. Starting in 2011, we had this thing called jcp.next, JCP the right? umbrella term for it. So yeah. we had, you know, um, focus on making the work of the expert groups transparent. That's complete. And then we merged the ECs to make things a little bit more unified since Java one right? platform okay. right yeah one executive committee and then we started working on more major changes uh, to the JCP looking at intellectual property and that has started to take some time we've been working on it for about two years and just this year we decided to branch that off into a new JSR which I'm leading and it's JSR 364 so it's okay. like jcp.next.4 and um, the major revision still goes on that will continue um, discussions with the executive committee who formed the expert group uh, to talk about how we're going to change the intellectual property, but we're moving full speed ahead on um, JSR 364, which is broadening JCP membership. So oh, we nice. fixed the transparency, and now we're trying to um, enable the community to participate more easily by introducing some new membership classes. So um, rather than just having a full member, so you join as a full member, whether you're a corporation or you're an individual or you're a Java user group, uh -huh. because we do have a big contingency of Java user groups who have joined the JCP as members. We have about 50 Java user groups who are members of the JCP. Um, but we think it makes sense to have to introduce membership classes. So we'll have cool. affiliate level membership for individuals, which will be a lighter weight agreement to sign and will not require oh, employer. Will be happy to hear that, right, right, right. So it'll be like a one pager contributor agreement that will not require an employer's signature, which is currently a requirement for individuals ah, okay. to get their employees to sign employers to sign, um, allowing them to participate. So we'll have a new class that will enable broader participation by individual Java developers. We'll continue to have the full membership for individuals who uh, want to be a full member and want to have their employer sign or um, work for a corporation that is a full member. And then we'll also introduce a partner level member for Java user groups. So again, not, not as oh, complex cool. an, agree an agreement because some Java user groups don't feel comfortable signing the full 11 page JSPA. <laughs> we do have, as I mentioned, 50 uh, groups who have, but that will right. enable user groups to be able to participate more fully as well, see more Java user groups involved in the JCP and bringing their unique perspective and the real world experience experience that they have into the JCP, into the development of the standards, so. 
Wow. That's what we're looking at doing as well as waiving all the fees. So we're removing as many of the barriers that we can to participation right. just to um, make it easier um, to participate and wow, to influence cool. the future. So let's see, more transparency and easier membership. It sounds like you're serious yes. about this stuff that you really want people, everyone, to be join in the community and be part of the Java community process. Yes, to get involved early and be involved in the development of the specifications right before they're final. Excellent. So, yeah, yep. we're talking to you. Yeah. We you want were, you. Yeah, who's sitting there going, I don't know. I, yeah. uh, I love this Java thing, but I don't know how to get involved. Well, I'm going to go to jcp.org. Jcp.org. Right now, which is not um, jcpenny. But Correct, not jcp.com, that's jcp.org. JCP. Okay, go to jcp.org and you can get more information about the Java community process. And of course, you can join at JUG and find information there too. But we really do want you to be involved. That's the secret sauce about Java, I'm telling you right now, is the community membership, diversity, a lot of people that are interested and passionate in this technology and the ecosystem. And it's people like Heather that make it all possible. So uh, thanks for dropping by and talking you. to us. Thank Thank you, Tori. All right, All right. This is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network.